Hey guys, and welcome to a new tutorial. My name is Matteo, and in today's episode, we're going to make some animation. So, I'm in this software called Sketchbook. Sketchbook is free software. It was actually it was paid. You have to pay for him. Uh, I think four months ago, but then they tra transitioned to free software. Now it's free. You can download it. I will show you where to download it and how. So. Today I'm going to animate in this. It's really nice for um, beginner animators because it's really, really, really simple. So let me first show how to download it. First, go to a website called Sketchbook Autodesk Sketchbook. As you can see here, uh, they have platforms: desktop, Windows 10, mobile. So you can, if you have, I don't know. Samsung tablet with uh, pen with pressure sensitivity or something you can download it right there and sketch on that if you have an iPad with uh, pen with pressure sensitivity you can also draw there uh, it's free I think for uh, Android and uh, it's, it's free for everything I think so as you can see really nice software for sketching it's called sketchbook so um, go, you just go to their website and click download. And here you choose. Oh, I started downloading. Never mind. You just choose uh, Windows or Mac or what else you have. And uh, when you install it, you will get this. You can start if you want to draw immediately. You can ju just start drawing. You have here some uh, layers, like in Photoshop, but uh, a ten times more easier. It's a really nice software for beginners. Okay, let's go to animation. So, how to get to animation part in this software? Go uh, up left corner, go to file uh, and click new flipbook and then click uh, new empty flip flipbook. Uh, no, okay, never mind. And uh, here you can choose would you like full HD, HD. And all that frames, yeah, frames. I usually work in uh, 12 frame, frames per second, but you, you can work in 24 fr frames or more. Uh, choose resolu resolution and press OK. And you are in animation part. So I recommend you to drag this bar right there so you can put more frames in one place. And as you can see, here are 20, 24 frames. If you want to increase it, just increase this this um, number to let's say 40. Now you have 40 frames right here on this lower part. Okay, now how to animate? Really super simple. Just here is a first frame. Draw something. Let's draw a ball. New frame. Just start drawing. Okay, uh, and those previous frame disappears and uh, you can you start to draw on new frame but if you want to uh, uh, to turn on onion skin that's a powerful tool in every single um, animation software so you can see previous frame so like some kind of guiding just pray, uh, press right here uh, in uh, down right corner this one um, onion skin yeah it's called I think onion skin or show a hidden ghosting of previous frame yeah and just press one so you can see only one uh, previous frame you can you see only one uh, frame in history okay so now now here I see a previous frame I draw ball but a little bit closer to lower part of shit uh, now next frame next just press you, you you can just press so just press on a new frame or if you draw a frame 4 just press frame 5 and draw new frame new frame new frame super easy new frame and after few frames ball 
just hit that bottom part and it went in the air again and something like this now a couple of frames like this and let's see what we just did so as you can see animation super easy super fun i really like to play with this of course i like to draw but uh, animation is something new and something more i don't know fun so try to make your own animation you can send me a link of that i can see it maybe i can showcase it right here in future videos so and now i will create cup maybe one or two animations uh, but in, in, in speed up version you will see speed up version of that uh, because it takes a while to make a, an animation yeah animation is a really long process so yeah that's it see you when i'm over and yeah that's it bye and so yeah, my ball can jump on, on something and what this now so frame by frame just draw frames and um, you'll have to learn a bit about uh, squash and stretch and all that animation uh, rules that you can apply to your animation it's really simple and it's really fun to learn to me at least okay so as you can see ball is jumping Jumping and after jumping for a while, um, my stickman comes in. Okay, here you can see his leg. Next frame, next frame, next, next, next. It's not really the perfect animation, of course. I'm a long distance. I, I have to try a long distance to get to perfect animation. And here he jumps, lands pick up ball and after he jumps again land on the floor and runs away here you can see his leg okay so uh, and that little scene got 91 91 um, frames so I, I had to draw 91 uh, 
say that we just so it's not really um, really the easiest process to do so now you can see how hard it is to create a cartoon so let me show you so you can see ball is jumping 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 here my big man and uh, there's one problem with this uh, you can maximum you can uh, put only 80 frames on this timeline timeline on on the bottom uh, how, how to increase fra frames just drag this little how to say that handle yes just dra drag this little handle and you uh, you can't uh, so here is uh, let me see 91 frames and uh, i can uh, now uh, apply I can now uh, start only 80 frames and it will stop uh, stop on eight, eight, on frame 80 and uh, I have to then move this handle to show you another uh, 11 frames so that's a little problem but uh, later on when you go to export file then uh, ex export flipbook uh, you just click all frames and pick mp4 and it will export every single fra frame and it will be nice little movie cartoon or whatever. So now you know, now know how to create a uh, funny little animation. You can try it yourself, play it yourself. S software is free, so don't be afraid. Download it, try it, and see you in the next episode. Bye.